so with this one I believe it was like four and a half almost five years ago Chantal used to do this series on the channel it used to be called my 400 pound life there's a point to this but I did want to mention I got these slips from pepperoni peas please go to our channel and check her out and and give it a sub all right that's zero Three ninety nine, lovely. As you can see here, I have a beautiful staircase, and I'm getting winded just standing here. So I'm going to uh, use these stairs to my advantage by going up and down them uh, a couple of times. I'm going to do it three times right now but I'm gonna take a break in between each one. So, this is gonna be hard because my knees hurt. Um, I'm out of breath. I'm carrying over 250 pounds of excess weight on my, my frame, so, which is not a large frame, and I'm only five foot two. So yeah, um, let's do this. As you can tell by her recent statue right now, she wants us to believe that she's 3.30. And in the previous slip, she was almost 400 pounds. It's like, is she serious? She has to be like trolling us because it makes no sense. I'm just gonna do once for now and try to make it my goal to increase how much I can do it. So I'm gonna take a break, wait for my headache. I have a, I have a bad headache when I, um, upon exertion and I don't think that's a good thing. So I'm just going to, uh, doesn't help that it's really hot today. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm ready to do another another layer on the stairs bed. I just want to be able to put my own socks on again. Like I can't put my own socks on. I need to wait for Pete to come on his break and put my socks on for me so I can do a weigh in because my feet are nasty because I don't take care of them. I don't take care of myself. That's the whole point of this. And um... yes, ladies and gentlemen, Back then she was smaller, like I said, it was like four and a half, almost five years ago. She used to have to wait for Pete to come home for lunch so he can put her socks on for her because she couldn't bend down to do it. So, and she was at 400 pounds then. And... Do we think that Salad Boy is actually putting her socks on for her or is she just free basing it in her sneakers these days? Happy Canada Day guys. I have some bad news. My blood sugar levels are very high and I will be put on a strict diabetic eating plan. My doctor is referring me to a diabetes clinic, frowny face. Despite how bad I eat and how I never exercise, I'm still shocked by this news. I also put another deposit on my trip, which I have lost sight of. I get defensive sharing my struggles because they make me vulnerable and so emotional. The struggle I go through every minute of the day is dismissed by someone calling me a failure and I let that get to me and I now see how ridiculous it is for me to let the opinions of others bother me. 
In the end, they will make me stronger and I will no longer care what others think of me as those who belittle others are worse off for doing that, period. That being said, I will have to change the content again of my channel to be a more health-based one because my diet will be very strict in order to try to reverse this mess I've gotten myself into. And again, please go subscribe to Pepperoni Pete's channel. This is where I got all these clips from. And Chantal has always known, she was made aware five years ago about her diabetes and how to reverse it. She knows exactly what she needs to do. She just doesn't want to do it. And in, in the next clips, you are going to see her using her food scale, measuring her foods and pretty much showing you guys that she's aware of how much she's supposed to be eating instead of buying into the recent bs that she is trying to tell people right now because she wants to eat what she wants to eat all she should really be saying right now is i don't really care that i have diabetes i just want to be able to eat whatever the f i want to eat I have just been doing a lot of internalizing, a lot of thinking, and um, I guess not doing so great overall. And so what I'm about to show you though is this three day juice cleanse. I impulsively purchased, um, hi Sam. <laughs> And I purchased it a little while ago. You have to purchase it in advance and then they delivered it yesterday, Monday. So I was actually gonna stay away for a while and do this in secret and because it is mentally taxing, but I'm feeling pretty good, better than I thought I would. So camera's a bit crooked, sorry about that. So I've got all of my juices. You get five juice, 500 mil and one homemade nut milk per day. So I have my three days. I have two in the freezer because these are kind of, they're not as cold as I'd like. <laughs> and I guess I was supposed to start tomorrow, Tuesday, today's Monday. I am, I haven't eaten anything all day, just water. Um, so you guys, so that shot, doesn't that remind you of the Unicity, Unimite? The cycles are just like, repeating themselves when I found this clip my jaw dropped it's like oh my god she's doing the exact same thing with the unicity it is amazing but with the next clips you're going to see her again same thing without community post and then her whole full body shot from five years ago and Guys, pay attention to our size and see the difference. It is astonishing. Body weight is 394.4 pounds. Body weight is 394.4 pounds. Um, no benches. I'm just gonna have to um, take it slow maybe lose a bit of weight first, do sitting exercises for now. I just need to do what I'm, uh, I mean, I know exercise is supposed to be a bit uncomfortable, but gasping for air is probably not normal. So, um, it just scares me. And plus my back, like I need to take it step by step when it comes to exercise. So, um, but definitely I'm gonna wait till I'm done this friggin' juice thing. So, re-diabetes and fruit juices. I actually totally didn't consider this as this whole thing was an impulse. Hard lesson learned. I am lightheaded, and dizzy, and nauseous. I'm going to cease the juice cleanse on day two for my health and safety and eat according to how my doctor advises. I don't have that freedom anymore. I need to eat sensibly. No more taking my health into my own hands. I always think I know what's best for myself even when I don't. See you in my next video. Hey guys, so M equals one milliliter in case you were wondering. So a little over, but that's how much I'm having for this snack I'm about to make. Hey guys, so here's what I'm having for a snack. 
Having about half of a bell pepper, some cucumber. Obviously on. We're just gonna walk to that bench down there. Can't really see it now. And back. So that's gonna be my walk for today, my challenge. So let's get to, let's get to. Hi. And start off with a gratuitous butt shot. Oh no! <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> but it's gratuitous. Oh, it smells like nature. You. <laughs> Trees. Straight ahead. And. The sunset. What? Back is starting to hurt a bit. Now we're almost at the bench. Hey guys. Her feet don't reach the ground. I feel like Humpty Dumpty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, did you like this walk? So. <laughs> Hopefully gonna help me with my, we're gonna go all the way down here. See how it goes. So, so far, like, kinda helps you stay upright a bit, but. So, I'm just gonna try to walk as far as I can and then take a sit when my back's really hurting. <laughs> well, it does take pressure off your back because my arms are hurting, so I must be putting more weight bear on my arms at this point. But of course, the best part is the chair. Look how far. You can still see the cars down there. <laughs> oh well, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, see you soon. Right, so, Pete says I can make it all the way down there. So you guys, as you can see, like she was a lot more mobile, mobile back then, even though she was struggling, but she was a lot more mobile than she is right now. And how she is not scared is beyond me. And I keep on saying I don't care because she doesn't care about herself, but it is frightening to see somebody to just completely give up on themselves like that. It is sad and scary at the same time. So the next clip is from her latest mukbang. I kind of like sped it up and it's not the whole thing. I just wanted to see and show the contrast. This is my first meal of the day and I've been up for six hours now and just been busy so I didn't get to eat. My table might creak a bit. There we go. New background, yeah, so good. Um, Bismillah, today I have for you one of my new obsession meals, it's chicken roasted, which it looks like fried chicken, I know. It's actually not, it's roasted and broiled um, with coleslaw, garlic, sauce, tomb, they call it tomb. Jesus, you guys, what she's eating is fried chicken. The difference is that it's cooked in a pressure cooker with oil equals fried chicken i guess she figures if she says it that way then in her mind she's not eating fried chicken in the end it's still fried chicken and y'all know my husband is syrian and he pickles be back mm. the skin i don't know it's almost like a nutmeg i don't know I'll try to look it up and tell you. Here. Here. Mm. The garlic. 
Yes, she pulled some more food from underneath the table. That's all I could take of that. I just want to show that. And this next clip is from Toad McKinley. And honestly, I think in the next year, year and a half, this is actually is what is going to end up happening to her because I am just like, wow. It's, it's something else. Let's watch this. Let it get out of control because when I move in with Pete's, it'll be so easy. It'll be so easy. I have no doubt that once she moves in with him, she will become even bigger than ever before. Back when they lived together as boyfriend and girlfriend, Chantal spent so much money on fast food that she went into debt. I'm not trying to insult or poke fun at Chantal here either. In her own words, I have to really watch it. I have to find something else to turn to because before I know it, he'll be hosing me down or washing me down with a rag. And I don't want that. And the more and more we keep on watching Chantal, honestly, I do believe this is going to happen. Pete is going to end up having to be her personal caretaker. If you look at the white bee, Chantal is going to end up with the white bee piece, I guess. Yikes.